A dear friend's life had been claimed in a manner I never could have imagined. I'm... Think my mind blanked and I forgot to read that other line. That night, no one spoke a word. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There is a log. <laughs> After many hard-fought battles, our team has suffered our first casualty. First casualty? More of us are going to die. What is it with Persona games and killing characters that I like? We lost Shinjiro. I'm not going to spoil Persona 5. Never mind. Although, Persona 5 Royal kind of fixes it, I think? Yeah, that character definitely lives at the end of Persona 5 Royal. I'm pretty sure that... Yeah. God, it's been so long since I've played Persona 5 Royal. Anyway, moving on. A dear friend's life has been claimed in a manner I never could have imagined. That night, no one spoke a word. Then the next day. I would love to play Persona 5 Royal for the channel, but that game is very long. Yesterday was a terrible tragedy. However, I must still go to school today. You don't get time off for one of your close friends no dying? No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. He had a lifetime of opportunity ahead of him. As educators, we are to blame for ignoring his silent calls for help. Oh, are they labeling this as a suicide? We tragically lost him to senseless violence before we had a chance to help him realize his true potential. N no, they're not. Why did he say we didn't hear his like cries for whatever, but then went on to say senseless violence. So, you know, he was shot. But what? Whatever. Let's just move on. Forgive us. Forgive us for our negligence. The principal continues with his eulogy. A eulogy that makes no sense. <laughs> uh, he just never stops talking. Shut up, that was my friend. I'd never even heard of any Aragaki. Had you? Shut up. I heard he never came to school. Probably just some punk. He was a good noodle. Oh, I just want to get home. I gotta study for my mock exam. Hey, you guys know who this Aragaki is? Wait, you're not even in the same year. No way you'd know him then. Anyways, it's crazy that stuff like this really happens, huh? This sounds like Akihiko's voice actor doing a slightly different voice. Shut your mouth. Huh? What the hell's your problem? Shut up. Huh? What are you getting up for? I said shut the hell up! Dang. Who knew I would ever agree with Junpei? What has the world come Yori, to? sit down. Damn it! Just ignore them, Junpei. <laughs> hey, have you seen Sonata-senpai today? <laughs> I could either say yes and no or why. I don't know. Have I? Why? He was absent this morning. I wonder if he'll show up at all. I hope he's okay. His childhood best friend was shot to death. Do you think he'll be Okay. You have a moment. Oh, sure. When you get back today, let's meet in the lounge. I think you all know the reason. Right. I don't expect you to have your thoughts in order. I'm not even sure what to do myself. All right. I'll see you then.
So it's about Amada, huh? Well, this will be a fun meeting. Yeah. Hey. At the usual for lunch. <laughs> okay. I was wondering what ramen tastes like when you skip class. It's surprisingly good. You could have invited me at least once, you know. Come on, say something. Why do you have to be like that? Always going off without saying a word. Put yourself in my shoes for a change. You think it's the other way around? Yeah, you're right. I was always the one running off on my own. I was too obsessed with getting stronger ever since I lost Miki. That's all I've cared about. I thought if I was strong enough, I could protect anyone. But I was wrong. And now you're coming to me. God, it's like the world is laughing at me. I knew what we were getting into. I knew we were putting our lives on the line. But I was so focused on fighting that I didn't see anything else. It doesn't matter how strong I was. Look what happened! <laughs> I know, Shinji. Crying won't change anything, right? I don't need you to tell me that. In the end, I can't run away from who I am. I've had enough of this. What is happening? Oh! His persona, like, evolved. Is that a little man sitting inside this bigger man holding the world? Sonata's persona Polydeuces has given rise to Caesar. Okay, now you have electric onslaught. Severe electric damage to one foe, ignoring resistances. High chance of shock. Rest easy, Shinji. You just watch from there with Miki. I've still got a job to do. Isn't that right? Well, dang. You all know the reason we're gathered here. We need to discuss how to deal with Amata. He didn't actually kill anyone? Uh, and I'm worried if we let him go off on his own, he might commit suicide. I've already consulted the chairman. I guess bring him here. Understood. It's my fault. How is this your fault? I knew it was strange when Aragaki Senpai told me he'd be late. But I didn't say anything. If I'd only listened to my intuition, this wouldn't have happened. You can't know that. This is not on you. That's right. It's not your fault. If there's anyone who should have realized, it's me. I should have been taking things more seriously, too. Yeah, when, when Junpei was sent to go find Amada and didn't, he should have said he did not find the child. That I will blame him for, but he's not responsible for anyone's death either. He just, he really should have told us he didn't find the child. I knew this wasn't a game, but I never thought it'd end up like this. Yeah, how does it feel for your girlfriend to uh, be in league with our teammate's murderer. 
There's no point dwelling on the past. Shinji's last words were, this is how it should be. He was a hell of a guy. <laughs> he even faced death with a smile. So, from this day forward, I'll face things head on too. This is how it should be. Huh. Senpai. <sighs> Reporting in. Amada-san is not in his room. Great, because this went so well the last time. He's not? Evidence indicates that his window has been pried open. Amada-kun! Wait, Fuka, where are you going? Do you even know where to look? Well, no, but we can't just let him go off on his own, right? You're just gonna run around without a clue? You'll never find him like that. It's better than doing Maybe nothing. Not, but we have to try. Amada-kun has nowhere else to go. I know exactly how that feels. Let's go look for him. But where do we even look? We spread out and canvas the area, Yukari. <laughs> you of all people should understand, Yukari-chan! Fuka. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Give him some time. Dragging him back won't change how he feels. And we can't protect him forever. Akihiko. It's his choice. He's the only one who can decide how to live his life. We all choose our own paths. Well, I do agree with that. I do think he's a child. And and sometimes children need a little guidance. Okay. Mail. Messages. I don't need money. I don't need to play a game. I don't need to eat. Please let me walk this dog without someone else wanting to come with us. He wants to go for a walk. Dang it, I guess can come. I have nothing else to do. As usual, I observe no abnormalities in Koromaru-san's physical or mental status today. May I have a moment of your time? There is something I wish to speak with you about. I was performing research today and came across a puzzling piece of information. It stated that there is a specific time of year in which one can reunite with the dead. Are you talking about the Day of the Dead? It appears as though spirits return to the living realm during this time. What exactly does this mean? Once an organism comes to the end of its lifespan, its physical body will deteriorate. But does this mean that there is a spirit that exists independent of one's physical form? And in that case, would that mean that Aragaki-san is... <laughs> Welcome back, Koromaru-san. Hmm? What are you holding? Topaz. It appears as though he wishes us to have it. Why don't we gratefully accept? The topaz is actually very useful to me. Now, let's return to the dorm, shall we? Okay, well, back to the daily grindstone, I guess, of hanging out with my friends. Okay, Akihiko. It's just telling me about Koromaru. Okay, I need to go see you. Hi. Marvelous. I can sense that the power growing within you stems from the bonds you have forged and nurtured. Here, it may not be much, but this is my gift to you. Please accept it. Right, I maxed out. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, tower. I still cannot foresee the limits of your potential. I look forward to witnessing you grow even further. How may I assist you? Uh, about requests? Are you accepting a request? Okay, in progress, I need Titania 
I need Rangda and a beautiful tile. Which I... Do you have any siblings? I myself have a useless younger brother. You have a brother? Perhaps I shall introduce you to him one day. Who is your brother? Have I played a Persona game that has a male attendant? I do not remember who the attendant was in um, Persona 4 Golden. No, I think it was that younger girl. It was like the same age as the protagonist. I don't remember. But then Persona 5, you have the twins and then... Lavenza. A younger brother. That's weird. By okay, anyway. Means. Let's accept these. Bring me a Mikazuki Munichika. I will await a report of success. You want to try sushi? So. Sushi. Words. Uh, ever since the time we went around sampling the world's culinary delights, my interest in food has been piqued. In my quest for more delicacies, I came across information about this sushi. I learned that it is eaten during festivities and often offered to the gods at their shrines. This sushi must taste divine, especially if it is the gods' favorite food. I wish to have a bite myself. I will await a report of success. Bring me a Sengoku era helm. If I may say so. For this request, I would like for you to bring me a certain headgear. More specifically, this headgear is a helm that has existed since ancient times. How do you expect me? I mean, obviously I'm going to get this from that crazy teacher who's obsessed with this era, but uh, how would you expect a normal child to find you an ancient helmet? That's just ridiculous. Since this is an item rich with history, I expect that it will provide the wearer with quality defense. Probably not. I believe you may be acquainted with someone who cherishes one such helm deeply. I will await a report of success. A glasses wipe. For the ridiculously expensive glasses that I bought you that you aren't wearing anymore? Marvelous. Glasses, an object that makes you feel infinitely more intelligent when you don them. There is even an item that helps maintain the pristine quality of the lenses. I believe it is, a, it is called a glasses wipe. While such an item is not necessary for those who do not wear glasses, it is essential for those who must. I would love to get my hands on this glasses wipe. Would you bring me one? By all means. Sure. No. Very well then. Okay. No one at school can hang out? Really? Really? And this is just the old couple that I could hang out with. Huh, then I might as well do the, um, thing with the dog. Is people watching it yet again today? That voice. It really is you, Koromaru. I'm so glad to see you again. I was worried when I didn't see you at the shrine gate. But here you are, looking better than ever. Dressed. You've become quite the fashionista, haven't you? Oh, good boy. Good boy. Do you live in the store? Is Koromaru in good hands here? Um, we all take care of him, he takes care of me, or it's a give and take relationship. I'm gonna say this. Oh, that's just wonderful. <laughs> I think I'm a little jealous. 
I'm glad you found somewhere you can relax again. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. You can live wherever you choose. I have to get going. Take care now, the both of you. Oh, hey, I guess. What's wrong, Koromaru-san? I see. So that's what's troubling you. That woman from earlier, she offered to take Koromaru-san in at one point. But at the time, he still had unfinished business to attend to. Of course, she is unaware of that fact. So in all likelihood, she may still carry the wrong impression about Koromaru-san's feelings. Hmm. Koromaru-san looks regretful. I don't know why I added it's on. Let's just ignore it. Uh, we have to make things right with that lady. Oh, it's you again. Is everything all right? How should I tell her about Koromaru's true feelings? I can't talk about personas or the dark hour. Would this happen to be about Koromaru? He had a reason. Don't worry, I understand. Sometimes you don't even need words, right? He's such a sweet, smart boy, isn't he? So really, I'm all right. But thank you for being so thoughtful. The way he's by your side. He looks just like he did when he was with the priest. He must really trust you from the bottom of his heart. Please, take good care of Koromaru. I'll look after him to the end. Looks like Koromaru heard me. Koromaru really has been blessed with so many wonderful friends. Be sure to cherish them, okay? You'll be at that dorm from now on, won't you? <laughs> well, I'll have to visit you again then. What a nice lady. I feel a strong sense of trust coming from Koromaru. I took an overdoored Koromaru on a walk before going home. The agility of Koromaru's persona, Cerberus, was raised by three. Interesting. <laughs>